Governor Polis says he wants to clean up Colorado's air and achieve 100% renewable energy by the year 2040. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez joins us from the state capitol. Ivan, to detail how people say this plan will benefit our Colorado. And Shannon, good afternoon. The people I spoke with in Globeville say they live in one of the nation's most polluted areas. For them, cleaning up the air they breathe is the most important step. Located near I-70 as well as heavy industry, some people in Globeville say they're not breathing clean air. We're one of the most polluted areas in the nation. I know a lot of parents that just don't want their kids outside because there's just so much contamination from the highway, from the factories, from Suncor. Nola McGill and Robin Reichart both work for the GES Coalition, a group focused on the Globeville, Elyria, Swansea neighborhoods. We really care about our neighbors. We care about the, the well-being of our neighbors. We care about the health of our neighbors. Miguel says she applauds the governor's decision to clean up Colorado's air. I appreciate an effort towards bold actions because that's really what we need if, if we're going to address climate change. I think um, from our perspective, we've been saying this for a long time, it's about time. The governor says he'd like to see 940,000 zero emissions vehicles on the road by 2030 as well as building 33 fast charging stations along major highways. But Reichart says he's worried about the pollution coming from another area. I guess my biggest concern is being a, a next door neighbor of Suncor is how, how, what's the plan to move the state away from this industry that's driving one of the drivers of the state economy and also what's driving some of the biggest uh, health concerns that we have in our neighborhood. The governor's office tells us they're aware of the pollution situation with Suncor. They say any future permitting decisions will be made with the best interest of the community in mind. We'll learn more from the governor in the coming months reporting at the state capitol. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7 News. Thank you, Ivan.